Hello and welcome to Have Guitar. I hope you are doing great as always. Uh, this is a little video about two of the most common questions that I get in my videos. Those questions are how do I install the software? Where do I find it? I can't see it in my door. I don't know how to start it. I hope this video will give you some help, some aid, some comfort in the darkness. So let's go on and show you how to. I thought I might as well toss in a couple of tips about uh, the computer that you are running the door on or will run your door on. Door is digital audio workstation. Uh, anyway, if you can, you should get multiple SSD hard drives. First part is that the SSD drives are faster, uh, quicker access times, both when it comes to reading from the drive and when it comes to writing to the drive. Uh, so that's a good thing because that'll stress the whole system a lot less and thus give you more power for the music. And so why did I say multiple SSD drives? Well, that question is quite easy to uh, give you an answer to. So as said, let's separate things. Uh, rather than running the operating system, your door, the plugins, samples, blah blah blah, everything from the same uh, hard drive, separate things. So, separate things. Rather than running the operating system, your door, the plugins, samples, writing to, blah blah blah, everything. Rather than doing that from one hard drive, you want to do it from more than one. So, for example, my setup here, I have uh, the C drive as the system drive. Where Windows installed and nothing else. I run Reaper, my door, on the unit E. I also have the plugins and I write uh, whatever I record to this disk as well. I could have changed that into having, you can see here I have my Reaper projects here. I used to run Cubase, now I'm running Reaper. Uh, this is my projects folder. Ideally I should have this on another disk and I could because I have D as well. That's where I save down all my videos and stuff like that. So that disk requires some space. Uh, but it works fine for me. Separate things, it'll make life easier for you and your door. So, as I said, I have Reaper installed on E, Program, Reaper, uh, and then I have this folder here. Then I have the Plugins folder. Uh, I tried to keep some order to that folder in the beginning, but now it's kind of chaotic. The main thing is that you should always install to the same folder, because then you know where you have your plugins, right? If you can't choose that when you start installing a software, it's a crappy software. That's as easy as it is. So you can see I've tried uh, making some kind of order out of chaos here. Uh, I have third-part VST plugins here. Uh, I have third-part VST plugins 32-bit here, so that goes, I don't have much there. And that's what I'm saying. In the long run, uh, it's just too cumbersome to, to keep on copying all these different parts. So I have just installed everything somewhere under the plugins folder. Doesn't really matter, because uh, this is not why you are working anyway. But why do we want it in one uh, in one place. Well, as I've already said, the first obvious benefit is of course that you know why you have installed them. If you for some reason need to know that. Uh, the second one is that in your door there will be uh, in the options a place where you specify the path to where plugins are installed. If you keep all plugins in the same directory Easy PC, you will never have to go in and change anything under that option. We're gonna have a look at that soon. So I might add, I think maybe you can figure this out for yourself as well, that if the software is installed somewhere else in a folder that is not listed uh, in the properties of your door, then your door will not find that software. And that's why you can't find the software, right? Also, one question that pops up every now and then is that where is my software? I can't run it. I'm not using a door at all. Many of the plugins will only run as a plugin to your door. But if the software is listed as standalone as well or only, then you don't need a door. And then you should be able to uh, find it by going into the start menu and just search for it. Addictive drums, for example. Standalone, you can see it right there. Standalone. 
means you can run it without a door and that should be listed with uh, system requirements or something for the software if you go into the manufacturer's web page so let's do a demonstration here i'm going to install the reverb solo plugin which is reverb.com's reverb <laughs> uh, anyway let's start that double clicking the exe file now you can't see that now you can see it do i allow this app to make changes on this unit yes i do sorry for being in swedish everything keeps popping up on the wrong screen as well do i accept the end user license agreement I sure do, even if they are claiming my soul. Uh, what do I want to install? I want to install the VST plugin because I'm running Windows. AAX is for Mac uh, and I don't want that. So click next. Do I want it installed in C program files? No, I don't. What did I just say? I have one folder where I want all my software uh, and that folder is right here. I will just copy that path go back here paste that e program reaper plugins let's just put all the crap in that folder nice install please and it's done that was quick now let's run reaper and find the reverb plugin as you can see i have a little project here this is something very 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 unpolished i would say uh, but we're gonna have a look at what how do you run plugins in in uh, reaper let me show you first of all we can go into options preferences so you go down to plugins vst and here you have the parts e program reaper plugins that's my main folder where i just stash everything uh, you also have c program files steinberg for some reason i'm sure there are some plugin that snuck in to that folder without me noticing it and that's why i kept it here so this every time we install something these folders will be scanned and reaper will know about whatever content of plugins is within that folder all right we don't need to do anything here because i just restarted reaper so that should have been um, scanned as reaper started so in reaper you will start you will start you will find the effects by clicking the effects button and like that i have all you can one nice feature in reaper i don't know about other doors but in reaper if you click new you can see newly installed plugins uh, so that's the one digital reverb solo and it looks just like the screenshots fantastic uh, let's play the guitar only here also one thing that I can give you a little quick tip about is that if you don't hear any sound when you have your guitar or whatever instrument you are using hooked up and everything is ready to go you have armed the <laughs> the track which is armed if, the, if, if this button is red armed, not armed, armed uh, anyway then you want this little speaker icon right here right now it's set for monitoring off that means you will not hear anything when it's filled, monitoring is on. Then you should hear things, hopefully. Well, there you have it. A short little video about how to install software for your door or a standalone. It's a big difference. It could be both. It could be either one. And uh, that, you, you got to be aware of that. So I hope you had some use for this video. Um, if you do, feel free to support my channel with a subscription. Uh, that'll be much appreciated. If you have any other questions regarding Reaper or recording like this, I will be most happy to help out in the comments or maybe even do another video about it. Did I miss something in this video? Maybe I did. I don't know really. Sometimes you spend several days thinking about, hmm, I'm gonna include that. This should be in. I, I need to talk about that. And then once it's released, somebody comes and says, how about this? Why isn't that included? I don't know. Because I didn't think about it, of course. So if you have anything like that, let me know in the comments as well. And that's it. There is a new video out every Thursday. Never forget about that. I uh, hope to see you there and then. And thanks for watching. Stay clean, safe and play really hard. All right. Goodbye.